Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. Capricorn, this is your weekly reading for February the 1st to the 6th, 2021. And I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. Capricorn, your oracle for that week and what's crowning your energy, you guys have flower. And is be honest with yourself. And I want to say before I actually get into the reading, Capricorn, you or somebody else, what it's looking like is someone is moving forward into a passionate new beginning. But it's like before you move forward, you're going to look back and realize something. Yeah, before you move forward, you or somebody else, somebody is going to like take a double tape and realize something about the past, someone from the past. Yeah, it's like somebody's going to get like an epiphany or realize something. But I'm going to go ahead and jump in. And like I said, this y'all oracle, y'all got flower. Flowers, be honest with yourself. And your crystal is pirate. And let the money flow in. Um, and I like to say when I pull cards, like the Oracle and whatever Oracle I pull out, um, I like to just point out when the cards, the colors and stuff correlate. I like, I, I like, I have to point that out. So I'm not going to do a chakra or nothing, but this, um, y'all crystal is kind of like the same color of her dress. Yeah. So to me, something in y'all energy or during that week, something's <clears throat> something's adding up. That can mean to me, it's like something's adding up, something's coming together. Or to me, that can mean you are in alignment with spirit of the universe in some way, shape, form, or fashion. It's like you're doing something right, you're on the right track. When them colors to me, when they correlate like that, when they come out like that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in because y'all first card out was the five of cups. So this is after tarot. This could be you, Capricorn. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll be able to clarify it during the reading, but this is someone having emotional regrets and losses. But since we're dealing with the after tarot deck, and this five of cups, this person is like because in traditional tarot. This person has their head down and they're crying. It's like they can't get over it. They're still like deep in their grief. But in the after tarot, it's looking like he's about done. So this is like if you at a funeral, they done lowered the person's body and you turned around and you're going home. Something like that. It's like you're almost done with grieving. Like you done. You're not. It's like this five of cups and this after tarot with me, to me, it's like you hurt, but you done hurting. You bought the, the three of cups is knocked over, but it's like you not dwelling on it. You're not dwelling on it no more. You're about to turn around and deal with them two cups that's still standing up. It's like you, you're not done because in traditional tarot, that man, he, he's, um, got his, you know, he's facing them three of cups that's spilled over. And it's like, to me, that man about to turn around and notice them two pu two cups. He's about to give his attention to the two cups that's still in the upright. And what it's looking like, I just noticed that person back there is drowning. So, Capricorn, if this is you, this could either be you. Like, you, I don't know, you probably going through a breakup. You could be leaving a job. And you done. You grieved it. You made your decision to leave that person in the past, let them go. You leaving them for dead. And you done grieving. You about to, you about to, them um, three of cups, that sorrow and regret, you about to leave that in the past. Because you about to turn around and focus on them two cups right there. So Capricorn, that's either you doing that to somebody or this is someone doing this to you. Yeah. But that man, he turning around. He about to focus on them two cups that's behind him. Yeah. What clarified that five of cups was this knight of wands. So this is telling me, Capricorn, 
Somebody could be have emotional regrets and losses because somebody was being a player. And if this is somebody being a player that night of wands, that's who you left back in the past. You left them for dead because they was being a player. Or this is letting me know that you turning around, you about done with that grief and that sorrow, and you're making a bold move to turn around, to lead them three of cups that spilled over in the past. The bold move and the bold change that you're making is to not dwell on them three cups that spilled over. You know, but, the, you know, keep it moving. Come up out that five of cups energy. So this is either somebody being a player and that person drowning in that car. You, you know, you leaving them behind because they was being a player or you making a bold move to get up out that five of cups energy. Yeah. When I asked for more information about this, um, the five of cups, the seven of water came out. So this is the seven of cups. Um, it's a lot of water down here. So I don't know, Capricorn, you could be dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a water sign, or you have water in your chart. Because this is a lot of water down here. You got five cups, the page of cups in reverse, and then you got seven cups. So, whatever this Seven of Cups is, whatever this Seven of Cups is, if this night was somebody being a player, this is like someone leaving somebody, leaving somebody for dead. And they about to go to their options. Because the seven of cups can mean options. Like you left one person. Or somebody left you. And they're going um, to one of their options. And love. Yep. What clarified that seven of water was the page of cups in reverse. So this is like somebody that's heartbroken. Um, What I got to... This could be Capricorn. If this, this could be somebody who did this to you. This could be somebody who did this to you. And what it could be telling me. This, no, this happened in the past. That's what I'm getting. This happened in the past Capricorn, whether you did this to somebody or somebody did it to you. But somebody got dumped. That's them, uh, that person back there in that water. Somebody got dumped. Somebody was being a player. They made a bold move, a bold change. And when this person in this five of cups left that person back there for dead, they went towards one of their options. And what it's telling me is that when they went towards one of their options, they still ended up heartbroken. Somebody still ended up heartbroken. Still ended up with heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Capricorn, whether this was you or somebody else. But whoever left somebody to drown, whoever left somebody for dead, they went towards their other options in love. But when they went towards that seven of cups, somebody still ended up heartbroken. Page of cups in reverse. Still heartbroken. But whoever left, Capricorn, even if you did this to somebody else, or even if somebody did this to you, probably both scenarios. But this person really didn't want to leave that person. They didn't want to do it, but they, for, for whatever reason, they did it. Because this person is grieving. They didn't want to leave that person in that water, but they had to. Well, I don't know. Maybe they couldn't swim. I don't know. Um... Let me see something. Is this Five of Cups energy? Is this Capricorn? Is this Five of Cups? Is this Capricorn? Is this the Capricorn? Yes, yeah, telling me yeah. This Ace of Swords came out. So that's a yes. Um, so Capricorn, this is you. Mm-hmm. So you, yeah, you left somebody, and I'm getting this happened in the past. You left somebody, Capricorn. 
you could have been being a player or you leaving this person right here. You made a bold move. You could have left this person suddenly. You went towards one of your options, Capricorn, and you still ended up um, heartbroken when you went to one of your options in love. And I just realized, yeah, this is something that happened in the past. Because the Six of Cups is right here. The Five of Cups and that Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Yeah. So, clarify this Seven of Cups. Happiness. Flowers came out happiness. And then Weeping Willow, Family Sorrow. So, this is letting me know, Capricorn, whoever you had left for dead, drowning in that water, and you went towards one of your other options in love, probably. This option right here was bittersweet. This seven of cups was bittersweet because it say it was your happiness. But Weeping Willow came out. Family sorrow. There was some family sorrow with this happiness. So something was bittersweet. And it's confirming that somebody ended up heart, heartbroken. And it could be you, Capricorn, because you probably got water in your chart because you coming out as water down here. So you probably got uh, water in your chart and a lot of it, too. And your placement somewhere. But let me clarify the page of cups in reverse. Clarify this page of cups in reverse. Okay. Okay, so it's saying February. So... This, whoever in this heartbreak energy, Capricorn, I believe it was you. But it's t I believe this is something in the past. This is something you probably did in the past. And this heartbreak happened in the month of February. Yep. So something happened in February. Past February. I don't know if it could have been 2020 February. I don't know. It's just, I know it's in the past and it's telling me February. So, something broke your heart in February, in the past. Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead up to the top. Because what I'm getting... I'm going to just go ahead up to the top and read y'all Oracle. What? Um, Because Capricorn, you might have to go back and um, deal with something. You probably left in the past. I don't know. But we'll see. But... This y'all um oracle flower. Be honest with yourself, and I'm gonna read it. Be honest with yourself. We do ourselves a major disservice when we aren't truthful with ourselves. There's something you know to be true, yet you continue to ignore it. Lying to yourself may feel like the easiest thing to do, but things have changed. It's time for you to face reality. Even if it makes you uncomfortable, no matter the outcome, it won't be nearly as bad as you think. Yeah. So, let me clarify something. Let's see what you done did, Capricorn. Clarify flower. Clarify flower. Ooh. Okay, so scissors came out. Disappointment and some affair. And I already, I'm get, I already know what this means. So, Capricorn, in the past, you left somebody. You left them. You didn't want to do it, but you left them. And you was either, you could have been being a player. Because this Knight of Wands out here. You could have been being a player. Or you just, this is you making a bold move. But, no, you was being a player. Because this is Seven of Cups. So, this is somebody having options in love. So you made a bold move. You, it don't have to be you being a player, but <clears throat> you made a bold move towards your one of your options in love, and it was bittersweet. And you still ended up heartbroken in in February in the past. I don't know how far past we talking about, but something didn't work out. Whoever you went towards, it didn't work out. So this card is telling you to be honest with yourself. Because you had a disappointment in some affair. So that's like you leaving one person going to somebody else thinking it's going to be better. And it probably done got worse. <laughs> that's what this looking like. 
Because this seven of cups, this option you had in love, this was bittersweet. It was your happiness, but it was family sorrow at the same time. So, what clarified that flower, your oracle, was this two of swords and this ace of swords. So, this three swords, Capricorn, this is a third party in love. This is a third party. This is heartbreak. And I got to say that because it's too many... It's too many cards out here that tells me this is about love and romance. Because the Knight of Wands could mean somebody being a player. And the Seven of Cups could tell me somebody had options in love. And then I get up here. And you got three swords. This is romance. So I don't know, Capricorn, if you were feminine watching this. And in the past, you could have had two men. Going at it over you. Because it's showing me you left somebody. You left them for dead. You left them right in that water. They drowning. You left them. And you went towards one of your options. And you sitting there. You sitting in Capricorn. Well, this could be a male too. But if you're a male Capricorn watching this, you left one of them women. And they was masculine. That's probably why you left them. <laughs> But no, if you were masculine watching this, you could have had two females fighting over you and you didn't know who to choose, who was lying, who was telling the truth. So you just sat there. You ain't do nothing. If you were a female Capricorn watching this, them two men, they fighting over you. And this could be telling me you probably didn't know they was fighting over you. Or this telling me you knew, but you ain't do nothing. You just sat there because you ain't know what to do. Because mm -hmm. this is it's like it's telling me It could be telling me you didn't know what the truth was It could be saying you didn't know who was telling the truth Like which one to pick Or it could be telling me That you had refused to tell the truth That's what that could be telling me And there's some heartbreak here Yeah it could be one of them or both. So you either probably didn't know what the truth was or it's like you refuse. You didn't tell the truth in the situation. Yeah. But what clarified the two of swords was the seven of cups again. So this is telling me Capricorn. You didn't know which way to go. This is like confusion. You didn't know who to choose, which way to go, what to say, and what to think. But this also can be telling me that this person that you left in that water, the person that you left for dead, you could have left them because they had options in love as well. That's, that's, that could be telling me that. It could be telling me that you didn't know this person had options in love. In some way or another, you had eventually found out the truth. Or you could have assumed that this person had options in love. This is either you or them. And it could be both. It could be both going on. But I'm going to clarify what that Ace of Swords is. But as cards say, be honest with yourself. And this is for you, Capricorn. Um, The Ace of Swords in reverse. What clarified... The, no. What clarified this Ace of Swords right here was the Page of Cups in reverse. So this Page of Cups in reverse is like somebody that's like jealous. This is jealousy. This is a lover that's jealous. Mm-hmm. Yep. Seven of cups and eight cups. Seven of cups plus that page of uh, that knight of cups is eight cups. So Capricorn, you you left somebody. You walked away from something. You walked away. From something or someone. But let me clear. Let me, let me see something. 
Since this is love and I know it, this is a third party and romance going on down here. And what I'm getting, all these cards on this board is about the past. Except, except this oracle. Your oracle is the present and this is the present. This is the present. But this spread is telling me about the past. And it's saying you you was in entangled and involved in a third party situation. I love Capricorn. But let me see. Since this is love. Oh, um, since this is a third party, I want to know what this two of swords is. What is this two of swords about? What is this two of swords about? And I'm gonna um clarify with this uh my twin flame journey oracle deck. Well, not mine, but mystical moon oracles. I'm gonna clarify with this deck. So let me see what this two of swords is. Clarify this two of swords. Muse. Mule. So ain't a muse something like you that excites you? A muse? What is this Ace of Swords about? What is this Ace of Swords about? Destruction. What? Ace of Swords. Destruction. Yeah. 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 I think I know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Capricorn. You, you did this. You or somebody could have did this to you. Destruction. Whatever, because somebody got some type of truth. This is the truth right here. And the cards say, be honest with yourself. So this is the truth that you probably didn't want to be honest about. And the truth is, maybe Capricorn, you caused this destruction right here. Be out of jealousy. Using a third party with some jealousy. You was jealous, Capricorn. Of something or someone. This is jealousy. And because of your jealousy. Destruction. That was the truth. That was the truth. Because you left this person for dead. You was jealous. Probably because you found out this person had a third party Capricorn. And when you left that person. You caused some type of destruction. Because of jealousy. Because that card telling you to be honest with yourself. You could have, I don't know, you could have you could have physically destroyed something, like caused some destruction, or you caused some destruction emotionally, probably to yourself or to this other person. Cause it's telling you to be honest with yourself about a disappointment in some affair. So Capricorn, me being a Capricorn. I know, I know what's going on here. So Capricorn, you probably found out your person had a third party. <laughs> you got, you jealous? And you left that person for dead. You left them for dead. And you didn't care. You didn't care, Capricorn. You didn't care. But I'm a, that muse. Muse. This is a muse is something that somebody likes doing. Why is um why is muse here? Why is muse here for this two of swords? Why is muse here? And it's a fresh start in lessons. Fresh start in lessons. Okay. What is telling me, Capricorn, what I think is going on, if it was, maybe it was two men fighting over you, maybe it was, and this was your muse, you probably enjoyed them two men probably fighting over you, maybe, or this is telling me, this could be telling me. If you got jealous because you found out your person had a third party, this could be telling me you you acted like you didn't know. You this is me you me this is telling me that you was happy 
Like, it, you acted like you didn't know your person had a third party. And you thought it was funny. But in your mind, Capricorn, what you did, because you caused destruction to this person, so it's letting me know you caught this person off guard. Because when a natural disaster happens, it usually catches people off guard. So Capricorn, what you did, because even in this oracle, that girl shocked. That girl shocked. Like, yeah, you did this. You did this. You did that. So Capricorn, you did that. But what it's saying, you your person had a third party. You found out about a third party. And you left that person right where they was at. You left this person for dead. But I think it's telling me you probably acted like you didn't know. Because what you was going to do was what you did. You walked away. You got a fresh start. And you was te trying to teach this person a lesson. That's why this two of swords, you acting like you didn't know nothing, was your muse. Yeah. Because you, yeah. Because when people get jealous, jealousy is very cunning, especially in love. And, you know, Capricorns, we, we, we can be calculating at times, especially when we, when there's heartbreak involved. And you walked away from this person. Uh-uh. I'm recording. Yeah, you walk, because it say eight of cups. It's eight of cups over here. And it's telling me you was jealous. You had got, you left this person when you walked away, you got a fresh start. And it's like you was teaching this person a lesson. Mm-hmm. You was teaching this person a lesson. Because the cards is like this. The cards came out like this. So you walked away, Capricorn, and your hand going over there to a fresh start. And you left this person in this destruction, in this destruction energy right here. Yeah. But it was a lesson. It was a lesson. Like I you I don't know if this person learned the lesson or you was trying to teach this person a lesson. By possibly you probably tried to destroy him. That's say destruction. Yeah. But you left. That's why I just say fresh start. And that eight of cups right here. You left this person. Mm-hmm. Yep. And yeah. Because it say be honest with yourself. Because when I'm getting Capricorn, what you probably did to this person, even though you you know, they made you jealous. You could have found out about a third party. And you wanted revenge. But it's looking like Capricorn, you didn't really probably have to do it the way you did it. It could have been like overkill a little bit. Because this is the present. It's just showing me what you did in the past. But this hangman right here is what's going on in the present. That's why the cards say be honest with yourself. Hangman. This hangman is the major arcana for Pisces. Um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna say it again. Capricorn, you got um water in your chart somewhere. Probably Pisces. Probably got Pisces. You probably got Pisces, um, you probably a Pisces moon, because that's look like a moon back there. Or Pisces or could be your sun sign, and you could have Capricorn in, in another placement in your chart. But this is a major arcana for Pisces. And this signifies um, somebody getting um, like some revelation, enlightenment. Somebody could be getting some type of enlightenment. This could be a delay. Um, what clarified a hangman was this Ace of Wands. Mm-hmm. 